All right, so now we're going to look at what it's like putting the tablet together back in its case and everything and how it all holds together and what it looks like. So on the original Duet, you can see the backing here. You just line up the camera. Boom. Snaps right on, no problems. And the keyboard snaps on the bottom just the same. And you're good to go. When you do close it, if you pick it up, the screen, the keyboard, you know, does fall off. So that's something new that we'll talk about in a second. But as simple as that. Close it up. You can close the bottom. It does go around the back. And when you put it in this format here, it does put everything in a form of tablet mode, which is really great. So we'll look at that in a little bit as well. On the newer model, same difference. I'll slide this out the way. Line the cameras up. Perfect. No problems. Keyboard. The keyboard is definitely, the magnets are a lot stronger on this one, I've noticed for sure. Um, so that's a really nice feature too. It just clips right on. I'm trying to turn this off here. Hold on. There we go. And what I like now also is that when you put the back on, it actually magnetizes. So if I hold it this way, I have to kind of hold it doesn't, you know, flop and fall apart, which is actually kind of cool with the old one. It wasn't a big deal, but it did do that. When you're simply holding it, you can see because I'm holding with one hand here that it's just kind of, you know, it's just there. I'm not going to wave it around, but you can obviously see that. Now, what I also like on the new one is when you close it from the front, I love how the magnets hold it in place. It feels tighter. It feels just feels better. It feels like a, a more polished product. The materials feel really good. They did a great job with the old one. It didn't feel bad. It just feels different, right? It, it feels like a jump. You can see it's already kind of sliding there when you grab it. It's not a big deal. It's not breaking. I've used it for a long time and never had any problems with it, but it just feels tighter on the new one. It feels like a more polished, redefined version. And I love the upgrade. They did a great job with that. So now we have them both side by side. I have them in tablet mode and you can see the bottoms. I mean, they're, they're identical. It's the same on the bottom. I'm sure there's some difference, but it, we could all could care less, right? On the left-hand side, the speaker grill is now there and the power buttons on this side now with a USB-C port and the power light and charging light. The right side has the speaker and the USB, the C port, um, the top, the volume up and down, the microphones, really great job. And it's, it's really light too. I love that. Uh, the, the older one, again, we don't, the bottom is fine. The left side is plain. The right side was the power, volume, and USB-C and power light all on one side on the old model. And on the top were the microphone and the speakers. So you can see on the newer model, they changed the speaker location. They changed the power and volume button location. Uh, but besides that, it's pretty much the same. Um, this one is the back completely sticks to the back here you can see in tablet mode you just pop it right off it does really good the gestures all work fine they're smooth no problem and here i love how they just added just the top is magnetized it's really good it's really light um no problems it fits right on there you hold them both they both you know holding your hands really well um this one tips over so don't do that with this one <laughs> but there you go you know they both look really good we pop the backs off Wow, that was really magnetized there, now isn't it? On the newer model, it's got a nice finish on the back. Um, it feels a lot better. The old one, I didn't notice till I was shooting this video that it kind of creaks, which I never noticed. If you do kind of flex it a little bit and bend it or what have you, this old model is a Gen 1. It's definitely more delicate than the new one, but again, I've had this thing for a long time. I've never had any problems with it. I've dropped it. It didn't break. So it's not fragile, but just you can tell this is a Gen 2. It feels better. It feels more polished. It just feels nicer in the hands. They did a really great job, Lenovo. So I love it. I really do like it. So I'm very happy with what they did here. And I'm happy with the upgrade. Uh, yeah, it's really nice.
All right, so now we're going to talk about the Duet versus the Duet 3 keyboards and accessories. So here you can see the original Duet came with, you know, a nice back that magnetizes. It clips right onto the back, uh, fully folding arm. It's really great. It gives you a lot of bend. You get a lot of flexibility out of this. The new one I love as well where it just snaps right on. It's one piece. It's foldable. It's really great. The bend is, wow, it's even more than the old one. Uh, they did a really great job with that. I, I love it. Uh, the keyboards, the keyboards are also better on the new one, right? So the new keyboard, one thing you can definitely notice is the ribbon that actually holds, you know, the keyboard and connects to the, to the tablet. It's definitely thicker. I think um, on this one, I mean, just kind of hold it. You can see it kind of shakes and flimsy a little bit. There's nothing wrong with it. It worked great every time I used it, but you can definitely tell that they took a little bit more time and better, better, better build quality into this, right? So it's really awesome. Um, on the back of the old one, it's more of a, it's not a rubber, but it's, it's kind of a grippy texture and it's kind of there, which is really nice. The new one is definitely more of a material, almost the same material, probably is the same material on the back of the case and the cover. So that's really good. It just feels really good. It feels a lot sturdier. Uh, it, it's definitely wider too. So when I put these side by side and, and what's, you can tell the new keyboard is definitely wider. But what I noticed too is the trackpad is actually a little slid over to the left on the old one maybe it was dead center on the new one it's definitely a little bit over to the left which is i mean i don't think anybody cares but it, it does is what it is it does a great job and is definitely wider than a new one by probably about the size let's see let's try this little usb cable here there you go that's about that one so a standard usb little port there it's about this much wider than the old keyboard right if anybody really cares um but yeah the travel is great everything feels really good i'm really happy with the keyboard i love the new back it definitely makes the tablet lighter um, i noticed that when i picked up the old one it felt heavier but when i took everything off the old one is slightly lighter so that tells me that this back which it just has more weight i mean it's not a big deal but it's a little bit heavier that's all so there we go so here you can see both tablets side by side they're roughly they looked about the same size but when you hold them in person i'll flip it around you can see the new model is definitely wider it's bigger i'll open them up here and we'll take a look They're both laid out in the same position. You can see the new one is definitely bigger. Uh, the screen is definitely brighter and nicer. Um, they're both at full brightness right now. The keyboard is bigger. It, it stands a little taller on the bottom. It's, it's a lot, I don't know, Just it just sits really nice. Uh, if we play just some random footage here. I didn't notice this before. Maybe the aspect ratio is different, I'm not sure, but just in standard regular mode, you can see the one on the, the older model on the left you know, it's a little bit fuller the new one is here but when you go full screen they both look really good but the newer one is definitely better like it's not even close i'll try to go back and line these up here but you can see that it, it just does it looks better it's they did a really great job with the update and making everything look newer and fresher like i'm really happy with this new screen and it said 2k i really didn't Think anything will come of it but you can really tell when you're using the device it looks a lot better um when it comes to just moving around it's, it's just better so the one thing i did notice though is sound when it comes to sound quality the old one i think it's louder i know the speakers are in a different position but i'm going to turn them up and we'll see if we can tell on camera you really can't tell in this video but we were watching some of the game content from all the announcements because it is summertime here in the u.s and for whatever reason the duet original did sound a bit louder than the newer model and looking at the speaker layout here the new one the speakers are on the side 
So they're there, you know, the buttons are on the top for volume, the power button's now on the side. Whereas on the older model, the speakers, not on the sides, they came out the top. And I can't see the bottom, but you know, coming out of the top, I don't think that should make much of a difference, but for whatever reason, it did sound louder on the older model. It wasn't really a problem where I just did not want to use the new one. That was an issue, but that's just something I noticed that the older speakers, for whatever reason, were louder than the newer ones. All right, so now we're going to talk about the camera. And Houston, we have a problem. So the old version, the front camera, it's a little darker, but I mean, it's fine. Right? If you're doing web calls, it's kind of what you'll buy this for to chat with family and friends or for work, which is what I use it for. It does a decent job. The new front camera, it's a little crisper. It does look better. I'll show you some of the pictures here that I took. You can see from taking the microphone, it looks fine on the old, no big deal. Again, fine on the new. You know, no problems here. Then we get to the back camera, and that's where we have a big problem. The back camera in the old, fine. Does the job. It looks, you can read the words. It's clear. No big deal. The back camera on the new, when I, obviously we know, tap the camera to focus. No matter what I do, this is blurry. <laughs> and I don't know what Lenovo did. You know, when you look at the lenses here, this is kind of a single point lens. And I'll put this one here. I mean, they could be the same camera. I don't know if it's a software issue. I don't know what it is, but I took this picture three or four times trying to beat the old one. Like, okay, it's got to be me. I'm doing something wrong. It's the lighting. Maybe there's too much off the ring light. It doesn't like, no, this camera on the, the rear camera on the new there's an update coming there has to be because this looks horrible the front camera looks very good though there's no problems with the front it's definitely you know better than the than the other it's that's it's definitely a great job but that rear camera lenovo fix this asap <laughs> so wrapping things up if you have the original duet and you're thinking about upgrading to the duet 2 I got the original for a very affordable price. I got this one on sale when it first came out for about, I think it was $256 uh, from Lenovo's website. I feel it was a great price for the upgrade. I'll probably put this one for sale and just get that one out or just give it to my kids or my wife or maybe my parents because it does a great job and it still works. I really love it. But it is definitely a great upgrade. Um, I'm loving the new keyboard. I love just the feel when I'm carrying it around. It's a lot tighter. It's just really nice. Um, I love the screen. The screen is definitely better. Um, it, it's just really nice. They did a great job. And if you're catching it for that price, the RAM is the same. They both are 4 gigs of memory, 64 gigs of storage. Again, this is a Chromebook, so we all know this is a cloud-based system. You really don't use a lot of things on the hard drive, so I have no complaints. Um, I plan to try out Linux on both. Why? Just because. Why not, right? So we'll install that and see how that plays out, and maybe I'll put a video on that just to see how the older version, the MediaTek and the Snapdragon, how they both operate and any changes. I do see better battery life with the new one. Um, it just runs really well, and I, I love the upgrade that I did. So I'm very happy for the price that I paid. I'm very happy. Lenovo, great job on this version 2. Um, it's great. What would I recommend for version 3 or... This is the three, so I guess it'd be version six. The numbering is weird, and, and we'll just move on from that. So I would recommend maybe putting the RAM at six gigs. I mean, these are tablets. They have four gigs of RAM. They are, you know, one, two, maybe four things tops done at the same time. Um, that's not a big deal considering what you're, what you're paying for the price and what you plan to do with things. I think we all can agree you're not trying to go out here and build your next website or build your next, you know, photo project on these. These are just small consumption, cruising the web, daily driver machines i use these every day i cast to my chromecast with it have no problems it just works great it, it gets the job done so i'm very happy any business things i need to do it's great for those things i connect them both to my monitor and my keyboard and i just use these as my computer for for basic day-to-day -day business work right um, so yeah i'm very happy uh great job so thanks for watching uh, like comment subscribe and see you in the next video